Yes, we are proceeding um, to have Carnival next year. We're still going to work out the details. And of course, at the end of the day, we hope, God willing, that we will not have any spike or any major concerns um, that would prevent us from having it. Creative Industries Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire says the decision to host a vaccinated carnival 2022 is impelled by the arts community's continual clamor for a reprieve. I think there's been a, a call by our creative sector um, that we really need to start opening up the creative space. Um, we've seen the opening up, especially in the tourism sector. Construction is open up. Um, persons who work in offices, in the media, can find employment, can earn a living. But our people who, in the, who work in the creative sector have really suffered. And whilst all other sectors have opened up, the creative sector is still suffering badly. Artisans, designers, musicians, pageants, creatives, and event planners have all felt the full brunt of COVID-19 that has shuttered entertainment venues in compliance with the bans on mass crowd gatherings and other pandemic-related protocols. The largest activity for our creative sector is really carnival. Uh, it's the time when we get our musicians, songwriters, you know, the carnival bands, um, the, the pan enthusiasts. Carnival time is a time when they, they get the opportunity to earn the most um, and to earn a, a livelihood. And they've really suffered. We've not had carnival for two years. We didn't have last year. We didn't have this year. And I think we, as we move forward, as the country continue to open, we have to find a way and the, the ways and the means to make sure that we have carnival next year. According to Dr. Hiller, the jam, if you get the jab, was one born out of consultation with key stakeholders and the approval of health officials. And we've spoken to all the stakeholders and they are prepared to go, they're prepared to work with the medical authorities to put in place the right event arrangements that would allow us to have carnival next year. And they've already dubbed it Vax Mass. And the notion of vax mass is that for you to participate in the mass, you would have to be vaccinated. You would have to be COVID negative. So the plan is really for us to design and, and to, to establish a carnival village that would be a sterile bubble that would allow persons who meet the requirements and to be able to participate. To take part in the carnival, to be in a band, you would have to be vaccinated. Dr. Hilaire has sent out a clear message to those interested in the 2022 staging of one of the premier cultural events on the island. So anyone who is interested in, in playing mass next year, you can know from now you need to get vaccinated. Anyone who is going to participate in the, the, the Soka, the Calypso, the um, Denry segment um, shows will have to be vaccinated. Service providers, um, you know, performers, everyone will have to be vaccinated. So it is really a mass for vaccinated um, individuals. The public that will be going to the location will have to be vaccinated. And we are going to sit down with the Ministry of Health put in place all the details and to make sure we establish a safe environment for the participants and the public. In pre-pandemic times, St. Lucia Carnival was historically a boon for the local economy with rich cultural displays and exchanges, attracting visitors to the island's shores and providing an avenue for the artistic expression of the nation's creatives. So, Alfred. HCS News Force.